Hey kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shivani again. I have got to say I love your responses on Google Classroom yesterday and all of the ones that my students sent me on um, Class Dojo. Wow, you guys are working so hard to learn about the earth and I am so proud. I miss you guys so much and I wish we were reading these stories in our classrooms, but it's really cool to see you guys responding and um, still learning from the comforts of your own home. And I'm so proud. So keep up the good work. Thank you for watching these videos. It means so much to us kindergarten teachers. Okay, just have to say that because I'm so proud. I am excited to read today's story. It's about pollution. Do any of you know what pollution is? I am sure that some of you do. So remember, the earth is made up of land, water, and air. And when something harmful does not belong on the earth and it's brought into that land, water, or air, that's called pollution. And there are three different types of pollution. We're going to learn about the three different types today, but let me give you a little sneak peek. We will learn about land pollution, water pollution, and air pollution, just like the three things that the earth is made of, water, land, and air, and those are the three different types of pollution. Makes sense. So your goal today at the end of my story is to be able to complete the sentence Pollution is bad because, so well, we already know that pollution is bad. I'm sure that many of you know that. It's not great. It's not good for us. But why? Why? I want to know details. Why is it so bad? So that will be our goal for the story today. And this story is kind of a quick one. So I'm excited to get into it and learn more about pollution and I see it right there. Here we go. Remember, the earth is going to read the story to you. Hey kids, good old earth here again. I want to start by showing you a little art. The picture was made by an artist who wanted to make a point about how important it is to take care of the earth. What do you think the artist is trying to get across in this photo? Do those three hands remind you of anything that I told you about before? Hmm, I see three hands and they're going in a circle like a cycle. What's it remind you of? Recycling? That's what it reminds me of. Me too, me too. Now, do you remember? That's the recycling symbol. Reminding you to recycle trash instead of throwing it away. This artist has taken a different approach, using hands to show that. In a way, people hold the earth in their hands. In other words, it's your responsibility to take care of me. What do you notice about these two pictures? How are they alike and how are they different? Hmm. This reminds me of something super creative that one of my students made. She made something super similar to this. And I noticed in this picture, there's trash all over the ground. The sand, I should say. And this looks like a very lovely picture. I wish I was there right now on the beach. Ooh, there's no trash. I don't see any trash here at all. And the water is very clear. But this doesn't look so good. These pictures are both taken at the beach, full of sun and sand and surf. But which beach would you rather visit if you had to choose? The trash you see in this picture is called litter. Litter is trash that was not put in the right place. It was left on the ground or in the water instead of the trash can 
or recycling bin. And I know you guys um, don't like to litter. I know that for a fact. It's cute. Oh, oh man. What about this picture? It looks like it was taken at a park. There is nice green grass and there are woods in the background. But does it look like a fun place to play? Not with all that litter there. Oof. Litter is more than just ugly. It can also be harmful to animals, plants, and anything else that needs to live in the land or in the water. Certain types of litter like empty paint or oil cans can leave toxic or poisonous chemicals in the ground, water, and air. And what's more, areas with a lot of litter tend to attract rats and other undesirable pests that like to eat trash. Many of these animals will get sick from eating the litter. Oh. Mm. Litter in the water now. There is a word for things that make parts of the earth dirty and hazardous. This word is pollution. Litter is a type of pollution. In this picture, you can see litter that has collected in a river. Now this litter has become water pollution. So we learned about uh, pollution on the land, that's called litter. And now this is pollution on the water. Litter is ugly and it can hurt the plants and the fish and other creatures that live in and around the water. And it also makes the water bad for people to drink. I hate to see all this trash in the water, but even worse is the fact that I see lots of plastic and glass bottles. Those can be recycled. But first, someone has to go out in a boat and collect all the litter. It would be better if it didn't get tossed here in the first place. Ooh, can you see the city? Not very well, huh? This is called city smog. I showed you some land and water pollution, which is called litter. This picture shows the effects of another kind of pollution. Can you guess what kind of pollution this is? Yeah, it's air pollution. This picture was taken during the daytime in a big American city, and the city is covered in smog just heavy air pollution that sometimes gets so bad that it hovers or hangs around like a blanket over the entire city. Oh, no. Much of the smog you see here is caused from exhaust from cars. Exhaust is the waste that comes from the back of a car and it goes into the air. And actually, right now, since so many people have been home and they've been staying in their houses, the air on our earth is getting a lot cleaner. This is a true fact right now. There is so much less air pollution because people right now, currently, are not driving in their cars due to um, the virus that's going around. So it's actually making the earth less polluted, the air in the earth less polluted. True. Oh, this is a picture we saw in the beginning. Two of the biggest causes of air pollution are cars and factories. Look at this smoke in the air. What do you think will happen to all that pollution? Some of it settles for a while in the skies around the factory to form smog, but most of it gets picked up by the wind and carried to the skies all over the place. Some of it will also be carried way up into the atmosphere and high, high, high above the earth up to where the airplanes fly. And then it can cause problems up there too. Not good. I'll tell you more about air pollution another day but I wanted to show you how lucky, yucky it can be. Yeah, that is not good. I wouldn't want to be a bird flying in that either. Mm -mm. Two more photos. Hmm, this is cute. Now I've shown you some ugly litter places and taught you a new word, pollution. Every day people do things that create pollution. So what can you or anyone else do about it? 
That's what this girl's saying. Hmm? I wouldn't have told you about the problem of pollution if I didn't think there was a solution or a way to fix it. A solution is something that fixes a problem. We need solutions for pollution. Hey, that rhymes. Hmm. Fortunately, there are lots of people in the world who know about pollution and are finding ways to reduce it as much as possible. Every day, scientists and businesses are working to make cleaner cars and factories. And every day, people all over the world, including kids like you, are doing what they can to pitch in and help reduce pollution. You are going to learn more ways to help, but I'd be willing to bet that you already have some of these ideas of your own. All right, hey guys, Mrs. Shawani back here. So, who? We learned about the three main types of pollution, land, water, and air. And who causes the most pollution on our planet? We do. People, human beings, you and me, we cause pollution. Now, remember our goal was to complete the sentence, pollution is bad because, so tell me, what do you think? Why is pollution so bad? Well, littering is bad, land pollution, because it can be harmful to animals and plants. And some litter is toxic too, it's poisonous. So it can be toxic in the land, it can be toxic in the water. And remember that photo we saw of a litter in the water where it was stuck around like a fish's, like, um, Something was stuck around a fish's neck. Not so good. So it's harmful to animals on land and in the water, and it can also be toxic. And if animals or people drink polluted water, they can get sick. That's not good. And what kind of problems does pollution in the air cause? Well, it can make birds sick. It can make people who breathe the air sick. So it's not good. Land Pollution on the land, air, or water is harmful because it can make people sick and it's toxic. So it's really dangerous. So we need to do our part on the land, especially, and in the water to reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is, those are the three things that we can do. So I cannot wait to see your responses on Google Classroom or on Class Dojo. Send them in to me or Mr. Thayer or Mrs. Merritt, and we will be so excited to see your responses. Um, and tomorrow we'll be back with some more details on air pollution. So look forward to that. Bye guys, I love you all, have a great day.